Good morning, ladies and gamers. I wanted to come today, make a little bit of a different video. Usually I just, uh, you know, I'm playing games and stuff like that. But uh, I found a bug in Smite. I've already posted a video about it where it happened to me. I saw a Reddit post today. Um, somebody else had experienced the bug, which is the first time that I've seen somebody else um, experience it and post about it. And uh, I just want to make a quick video on it just to address it. I'm probably going to take this video, wrap it up, and post it. And then um, submit it as a support ticket to high res And uh, I'll post any updates I get from them um, here. But uh, just a quick overview of the bug. It's with the offering, uh, the offering slash the chalice. I don't know what it's called. Uh, but it's the mana heal that gets applied from these cups. Here's a video that I took. I was playing as Hera. You see that I receive a mana heal of 76. A set comes by. She receives two ticks of a mana heal, 58. She should only receive one, right? And uh, my understanding is she's only supposed to receive it initially um, when the chalice is picked up. And then if you look again, she receives a bunch of ticks of 58. I think that my camera's in the way. If you could see it now. Uh, she receives a bunch of ticks of 58. Um, I do zoom in on it. Hopefully you can see it now. 58 and her mana skyrockets, right? Yeah. There's a second clip. This is a PBM video. Go straight to the video, straight to the source URLs at the top. It's also in my video description of my original video. URL is also at the top. Heal prop bot build versus Haddix. It's July 24th. It's from Poi Bear Mike. Uh, he's playing Hell Support. I don't feel safe. He's mid. He's low on mana. You can see he's at... 170 mana. If not, go he goes right because blue buff that. is being Trouble invaded. To get the cup. He's going to go get the cup. He autos it. Gilgamesh well, picks wanted... it up and he receives 39 mana. Right? I wanted the mana, man. He did use over. And then he receives a bunch more ticks of 39. He also receives a 79 tick. That's important. I'll note that later. But he receives a bunch and then he's full mana. He's just full mana. I can also tell you, I don't have a video of this, but anecdotally, um, I can tell you that there was a, a match that I had. Here's the match ID. You could look it up on Smite Guru. Uh, it was me, my brother, and my friend. And I noted this over voice chat. They are my witnesses that this happened. But um, I was playing as Tiamat, and I was low on mana, and I had about 3k gold, and I was like, hey, I need the back. And we were in gold side jungle. Gold Fury side jungle, and we picked up a chalice. Uh, my friend uh, Zach Rodway picked it up, and I received like all my mana back. We had just had a team fight because I think it was like a fire giant siege or something like that. Anyways, received all my mana back as you've seen multiple times, but I also received about 3k gold. And um, I don't have a video of this, but you can see I promise you I'm not good enough to have 625 gold per minute over a, a long sustained game. Um, and uh, the next highest gold leader is my brother, who has about 38k gold. I had 32k gold, which is about a 4k gold discrepancy. If you take about the... I remember I had 3k gold. I was like, hey, guys, I need to back. And then I, we picked up the chalice, and then I backed, and I was like, I have 6k gold. I don't know how that happened. And um, if you take away the 3k gold that I think I received, I would be about a 1k gold lead, which would be more more acceptable. Uh, but you could look into this. They don't tell you there's not like a, a mana regen chart or anything like that. But I can anecdotally tell you this happened. And then I also saw a Reddit video today. Somebody posted random uh, random mana regen. Um, he goes mid, ults Kronos, Kronos ults, and then he receives a million ticks of 36 mana. Right? He's at full mana. And uh, basically that's, that's the bug, right? And uh, I have an idea. I wanted to talk about, some people have different theories. I posted this video initially. This guy says it's a visual bug. That's just a thought. That's not even an argument. You just said something. It's You just said it's a visual bug. It's not a visual bug. In each instance, everybody uses their mana. Um, in the Reddit post, um, some people say like, what? It's like you absorb the chrono salt. Maybe a bug with chrono salting. Um, in this video, um, there was a comment down here where I replied on it, and somebody said, um, uh, they said it's Shiva ult. It's not Shiva ult. It's not Kronos ult. Shiva ult uh, only restores 10% of your mana, and if it's enhanced by the two, it will restore 15% of your mana. 
um, amplifications 50%, right? He would go to 15%, right? And in, in this video, he receives all of his health back, or all of his mana back. Um, Chronos Ult also, Chronos Ult, uh, the way that it works is he travels back in time. And he doesn't even, he doesn't, it's not a heal or anything like that that he receives. He just reverts to the values that he previously had, right? So this is not a bug with Chronos Ult. It's not a bug with Shiva Ult. It's not a visual bug. Um, this is a bug with the Mana Chalice. You can see in all uh, three of these instances, and anecdotally the fourth instance, um, that this is a bug. The Chalice has something to do with it. I don't know if I pointed it out, but at the beginning of this Reddit clip, um, Bacchus picks up the, the mid Mana Chalice, and uh, then comes mid and they dive Chronos together, right? And uh, I'm going to talk about my theory on what's happening. I pulled up this uh, online whiteboard. Here's the, the chalice. Here's a player, right? And they come by and they pick it up. And when they pick it up, everybody in a radius receives a mana heal, right? But in each video we've seen, they will leave the area, go somewhere else, and there is some invisible radius that they have that is similar to the other radius. And somebody nearby either is... You know, they're they're close to this radius. It seems like it's the approximately the same distance, and something whizzes out with the math. Sometimes circles are really weird in video games because the math around circles is really hard to do. I know that like uh, for me, like I'm a I'm a Smash player in Melee. There's these things called phantom hits, and it's essentially when um, you have two uh, two circle hitboxes and um, the, the hitboxes overlap, or they don't overlap, but the, the circles touch each other, right? It's, I don't know the math term for that, tangential tan, tangential lines, something like that, I don't know. But um, I, I assume something similar is happening here. If you look at all the instances uh, where this happens, this is not, uh, this is what I'm trying to go to. Uh, when a set first receives her heal, she's at a certain range from me, and then she follows me, and something happened where she got probably back into the same range. She receives that heal again. You can see it here. In this video, um, you can see if I go back a little bit. Um, Gilgamesh picks it up. Oh, I wanted the mana, man. Gilgamesh jumps out and engages. And they get to a certain distance where the mana heal is restored again. I can anecdotally tell you um, it felt like the same distance. I was away from my friend in this instance. You can also see here, uh, Bacchus picked up the Mana Chalice. They engage mid. Uh, she did receive the Mana Heal initially, if you check. 36, she receives it. And then receives a bunch more when she turns around. Bacchus is at about that same distance. So I suspect there's something to do with how the code is checking to apply the mana heal. I'm not a coder, I'm not a programmer, but I'm assuming that there's some code that's back there that says something like, if mana chalice was picked up, check if any players are nearby, and if so, apply the mana heal. Clearly, there's some sort of artifact or remnant where it is messing up uh, with players at a certain range and accidentally applying uh, duplicative effects, right? It's applying multiple effects to this mana heal. And uh, I can't replicate it. I don't know how to replicate it, but it's uh, this is the fourth time I've seen it. And um, so it exists. And uh, I'll probably take this video, I'll wrap it up, and then I'll submit it in a high-res ticket. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated on anything that they tell me. And I'll post it in a video, and I'll let you guys know. That's all for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys next time.